Hey everyone, welcome to Wax Pack Wisdom. I'm Jake T. O'Donnell. Today is going to be another PSA grade reveal, and they put these uh, slips on the box, which I'd never really seen before, uh, uh, the uh, box that has the slabs in them. And uh, so we're gonna open that up. Um, if you recall, I did a video uh, back in May where I explained how uh, to submit cards for grading. That was the, uh, that was the submission to PSA as part of their post-1980 special in May. So those are the cards that came that came back this time. So you have seen those cards on the channel previously, and we're going to see what the grades are. Um, right now, you're looking at a 1989 Fleer Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card. And uh, once again, just want to remind folks that if you're watching this video before uh, January, uh, sorry, July 31st, 2024, you can get in our 300 subscriber giveaway to win one of these three Hall of Fame rookie card slabs, uh, 79 Ozzy Smith, 82 Don Russ, Cal Ripken Jr., and 89 Fleer, Ken Griffey Jr. You could win one of these three. We will randomly select the winner uh, at the beginning of August, and uh, you'll have a chance to win one of these. So we'll link to the video below to where you can enter into that uh, giveaway and have an opportunity to win one of these three cards. Okay. Um, so uh, that is the giveaway. And now let's get into these guys. So this is a, um, there's going to be uh, several Hall of Fame rookie cards in this. This is a blind reveal. I have not seen the grades. I purposely did not look at them. There's going to be, there's a couple basketball cards in this. There's one hockey card in this. And then the rest is all baseball and it's all, um, it's all pretty much, it's all Hall of Fame rookie cards. And then there's like one that is a, um, there's a couple of guys that are not in the Hall of Fame yet, but uh, I suspect strongly that someday they will be. So we'll start with the basketball card. And that is this Robert Parrish 1981 Tops card. And uh, the reason why I sent this one in to get graded is because I have PSA graded um, slabs also of Larry Bird's card in this 81 top set, as well as Kevin McHale's rookie card. So I figured why not get the big three all together again? So uh, let's uh, look at the front there. There you see, uh, well, his nickname was the Chief and you know, I'm not gonna, not gonna uh, dwell on that too much, but um, let's see what we got. We got a six, okay. I don't remember what the grades are on the other ones, uh, but this is a six. So it does appear, and this was something I was wondering about. I think these are the old PSA slabs. Let's actually, let me compare. Yeah, I think that the, that uh, these are still the old PSA slabs. As you recall, there was an issue with um, some, uh, you might have seen videos about this where there were some issues with like right here on the slabs, there was these like little cracks and uh, PSA decided to discontinue using those new slabs until they figured out the issue. And I think they're gonna go back to them at some point, but for the time being, they're using the old slabs, and that's uh, what this uh, 81 uh, Tops Robert Parrish card is, is uh, is in the old slab. So this is a nice card, and like I said, this will go along nicely with my Bird and McHale from the same year. Let's look at the other basketball card. This is, uh, I just got sent this in because it was, I thought it was really clean and really nice. This is an 86 Fleer Andrew Tony, the Boston Strangler. Um, uh, you know, a star. He had a short career because of injury, but he was a star who really took it to the Celtics in the playoffs in the 80s. And uh, I sent this in to be graded just because 86 clear cards tend to be in demand. This is the one card in this that is probably at some point is going to be for sale. And I just thought it was nicely centered and a pretty clean card. And I wanted to see what would come back. So it came back, ooh, came back as a nine. That is outstanding. So this will definitely be something that. Uh, will find its way for sale at some point. Somebody, and I'm, I'm, uh, I'm actually quite thrilled with that grade. Um, yeah, these are, that's a, that is an excellent, excellent get. This was, this was a card I got in a set break. So I didn't hit the Jordan, uh, but I did get, uh, did get the Boston Strangler. So that's, that's great. I'm really happy with that. Let me try to find the other non-baseball card in this, this group. And this was a hockey card that I sent in just to have graded because I don't have a lot of graded hockey cards. I've, in fact, I think this is only the second one and it's the only Bruin that I have. Number one card in the 1986 Opeechee set belongs to Ray Bork, one of the favorite players of my youth. Um, and let's see, it's off center, so I'm not expecting a great grade. And it's still got a seven though. Okay, even with the bad centering, 
The only other uh, hockey card I believe that I have graded is an 84 OPG Wayne Gretzky, which I think is either an eight or a nine. So that was a really nice card. I got that in like a like a mystery bag giveaway on a on a whatnot auction. So um, really like this card, and it's uh, nice to have a, a graded Bruins card. I should try to get more. All right, so let's do the two uh, non Hall of Fame rookies that are in this group of cards, and then we'll go through the rest. So um, first one is going to be this uh, nice Bryce Harper rookie card that I bought at a card show that I decided to send in because I like to have you know star rookie cards in addition to for my hall of fame rookie card pc i i have a strong suspicion that one day bryce harper will be in the hall of fame so this is um i believe this is a 2011 bowman i think i'm gonna flip this around um the signature on the front is this is not a real signature but this got a oh wow all right got a gem mint 10. beautiful that is really nice um Really nice to get a uh, to get the ten on this. I don't think I sp maybe spent like twenty bucks on this card, so uh, that's a that's a, I'll take that. I'll take that all day. Uh, you can't can't get any better than that. So there you go, nice ten on the uh, the Bryce Harper rookie. All right, and then the other non Hall of Famer is this Billy Wagner rookie from '94 tops, and I suspect that Billy Wagner will get in the Hall of Fame next year. So let's see. What we got, we got an eight on the Billy Wagner rookie from 94 Tops um, as he was sort of making his way through through the farm system for the Astros. Um, and uh, I, like I said, I think he'll be in the Hall of Fame next year. So, all right. So the rest of the cards are all Hall of Fame rookies. And one of the things I'm really excited about with this this batch of, uh, of slabs is that I got back, uh, and just in time for the Hall of Fame induction ceremony, I got back uh, rookie cards for a couple guys that are getting inducted this weekend. Um, if you recall, in a previous uh, PSA re uh, grade reveal, I already have Joe Maurer's rookie card. It's in. It's, I don't have it uh, handy at the moment, but um, really excited uh, to get uh, Todd Helton and Adrian Beltre rookies as well. So we'll go. We'll get. We'll check out those in a minute. I just um, let's go through some of these others. Just again, I, as I'm a completist, so I try to get as many of these Hall of Fame rookie cards as I can. So here's uh, Roberto Alomar's '88 uh, tops traded rookie. Excuse me, rookie card, and this gets the nine. So I'm hoping, you know, for eights and eight, well, definitely nines and tens if I can on the rest of these cards. But anyway, there's there's Alomar. Let's see, there are uh, there are three others, or yeah, there's three others here that are sort of not in the current Hall of Fame class. Here's an Edgar Martinez rookie. I believe this is either 88 Fleer up, 87 Fleer update or 88 Fleer. I guess we'll find out when we flip this around. This is 88 Fleer. This gets a seven. Okay, I mean the grading companies are really tough on junk wax cards, so I'm not super surprised that it got that grade necessarily. And then uh, let's see, we got Scott Rowland here. I got this on. This was an eBay pickup to get the Scott Rowland rookie card. I think this is Bowman's best from '95. So we'll see what this gets. This gets a nine. It's great. It's an outstanding grade. I'll take. Like I said, I'll take nines and tens all days on these rookie cards. Uh, and so that's really cool. Then this one is the Jim Tomey rookie. I'm not expecting a super high grade on this because I think the card's a little bit faded, as I recall. It's a 91 upper deck. There's a bunch of Hall of Fame rookie cards in this set. And you can kind of see there. Oh, it did get the nine, though. All right. Well, I guess I had nothing to worry about then. Um, so there you go. That's the Tomey rookie. Uh, really nice card. Really. Nice. Let's let's keep taking a look at that. I, and it's just, um, you know, Jim Tomey. The guy was the man. I love that guy. Always loved, always loved watching him. All right, um, so I have two Adrian Beltre rookie cards in this uh, in this return. The first one is uh, from his debut in '99. I think it's '99 upper deck, so it's not quite the rookie card. I guess I, I decided to send it in anyway. Anyway, I now have like three of these, <laughs> um, uh, the three of these Beltre quote unquote rookie cards. One of them is a Bowman that you had seen in a previous one that came back as a Gem Mint Ten, which I was really excited about. Yeah, '99 upper deck. It's, a, it's just an eight. So I don't think this card is, uh, if I had this, this sub to do over again, I don't think I would send that card in. But I do have, um, I'm going to save the, the last Beltre one for the end because Beltre is one of my favorites. Not that Todd Helton was not one of my favorites, but this is, I believe, 97 Donruss on the Todd Helton rookie uh, getting inducted into the Hall of Fame this weekend in Cooperstown, New York, uh, the, in, uh, in this weekend in July 2024. So this gets the eight on the Helton rookie. Um, 
Yeah, it's okay. That's that's not amazing. I guess yeah. I guess it was ninety eight Don Russ. It said ninety seven on the back, but I guess it was card came out in ninety seven and uh, it was uh, ninety eight set. So that is. Uh, I'm gonna leave uh, Todd right there. We're gonna have our two Hall of Famers getting in this weekend uh, set up here, and then the last card is the actual Adrian Beltre rookie. Um, that I got this one. I believe I bought this on Twitter from somebody that I buy from frequently. I think it was probably about a $30 card. Yeah, this is the 97 Bowman, and it is does have the first Bowman insignia there. And woo, we got the 10. We got the Gem Mint 10 Adrian Beltre rookie. Oh, yeah. All right. That is awesome. All right. So the Gem Mint 10 Adrian Beltre rookie. This is immediately... One of the very best, whoops, sorry about that. This is immediately one of the very best Hall of Fame rookies that I have. So that is awesome. Oh man, I am thrilled, thrilled with the, that grade. One of the best cards I have, honestly, right there. So there you go. Adrian Beltre, rookie, Todd Helton, rookie. Congratulations to those guys, as well as Joe Maurer and Jim Lee Lind on their uh, impending inductions to the Hall of Fame this weekend in Cooperstown, New York. And I hope everybody that is going out there for the ceremony enjoys it. And uh, that's it. So that's going to do it for this edition of Waxback Wisdom. We'll have 59 tops Friday on Friday this week. And then we're going to have some, I got some really interesting stuff coming in the mail. Um, I don't want to give too much away. One of them is a really exciting card that I bought from a very well-known dealer. Um, uh, I have a big update on, on the 68 tops build coming soon here. And uh, I'm sure plenty, plenty of other great stuff coming soon. There's an, my SGC order is in that uh, had a lot of cards that you've seen on the channel. Fingers crossed that the national is not going to um, not going to delay that by very much, but we'll see. They have it now. It is it is at their office this week. So fingers crossed that it will be not held up by uh, what I'm sure will be a big influx of stuff from the national. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. Um, uh, if you enjoy this video, please uh, give it a like and, su and uh, subscribe to our channel. Check out, again, uh, our giveaway at the bottom. Again, if you watch this video before the end of July 2024, um, you can get in our giveaway. And then um, also, you know, please check out uh, a list of where you can follow us on uh, all social media channels. The links are in the, in the description of the video, as well as... Um, as well as our list of uh, nonprofits and charities. And again, please please leave us a comment. Let me know what you think of the grades on these cards. Let me know what you what you think uh, of how we did. Uh, I'd love to hear from you guys. I always love hearing from you guys in the comments. But anyway, thanks very much for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time on Waxback Wisdom. Take care.